Hare Krishna. Letting the mind run free is the quickest path to exhaustion. When we sometimes wake up in the morning and then we move around for a few hours and suddenly we start feeling tired. We wonder, I haven't done much physically, why am I feeling so tired like this? And then we, if we introspect a little bit, we will realize that our mind was wandering here, wandering there, thinking about this problem, resenting that situation, planning a revenge fantasy against that person. And there were so many desires and distresses that the mind was engaged with. And when the mind runs here, there and everywhere, the mind is subtle, but it has effects on us at a gross physical level. Sometimes we may get physically tired just because the mind is running wild. So, suppose, sometimes we see some children, they just play and they run here, run there, they call each other loudly, they scream and we think that they have so much energy. But after some time, the children lose the energy and they just fall asleep. They start yawning in public, they can't do anything. So the mind is like a child. You know, if it is allowed to run, it will waste all its energy. And then afterwards, when we have to do something important, we'll have no energy left. So the mind is subtle, but it is real. And the mind's actions have real effects on us. So if somebody is just wasting a lot of energy in being hyperactive physically, we know that they're going to feel exhausted. And we would advise them, conserve your energy now. Similarly, we need to recognize that the mind also has to conserve its energy. And for the mind, uh, for us to conserve our mental energy, we need to be alert. Krishna tells us in the Bhagavad Gita in 6.26, Yato yato nishchalati manaschanchalam asthiram tatastato niyam yaitad atmanyem vasham nayet. And wherever and whenever the mind wanders, bring it back under the control of the self. The mind will wander, but it is our responsibility to get the mind under control. It is our responsibility to get the mind to stay focused. And if we don't do this, it is like we will be, instead of taking the car to the destination, we are letting the car go in this direction, that direction, and the car's fuel will be exhausted and we will be stranded without any fuel and without having reached the destination. Similarly, V2 will be mentally exhausted and that mental exhaustion will lead to physical exhaustion. We will just feel fed up. We don't feel like doing anything. Our physical energy levels will go down. So to protect our energy, we need to focus our mind. When our mind is focused, then our energy will be utilized and we will be amazed to see how much we will be able to do with whatever existing time also that we have. So the way to focus the mind is by focusing it on Krishna. The more we focus the mind on Krishna, the more we become purified, the more we become pacified, and the less the mind tends to run off here, there, and everywhere, and the more energy we have to focus on constructive activities in His service. Thank you. Hare Krishna.